All right, 360 Florida Booth family, here we go. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy a one week subscription of touch picks and I wanna show you guys how to do it the correct way. I made a mistake on my very first purchase. What I did is um, I didn't know this, but touch picks later on told me that whatever username you're using for touch picks that's connected to your phone, for example, I'll show you what I mean. So, I'm buying the application, you can only buy it through your phone. So whatever email, whatever Apple email you're using on your Apple phone, make sure that your iPad sharing station has a matching email. So it has to be the same ID. And I guess TouchPix does this because they don't want one person to buy it and sharing it with the rest of the world. So I guess this is the way they regulate it. So make sure that your iPhone email along with the iPad sharing station email is matching. And also, also a good idea to have a matching email on the actual TouchPix application itself. So let's go ahead and buy a one week subscription of TouchPix. Gonna go ahead and open up TouchPix right here. Gonna go to subscriptions right here. And I'm gonna go to restore purchase or can I just go to pay? Let me see. Pay. And it says 49 per week and I'm gonna go to subscribe. When you guys buy the one week, make sure you unsubscribe after that week. Uh, let me go ahead and put the phone down and put this information in. But uh, yeah, so when, let me see. When you guys get the app and the week is over, what it'll do is it'll auto renew for that week. So make sure you guys unsubscribe. I went on for like a whole month and I was being billed every week and didn't know it until I looked at my bank account and I realized like, oh man, it's been on this entire time. So keep that in mind. Let me go ahead and put my information in here. Bingo. Okay. So you guys heard that? So I, I just bought it right now. It says you're all set. Your purchase was successful. Okay. Payment succeeded. So now I can jump onto this dashboard right here. I'm going to log, log in. And I can start generating a new event. I have made a full, I actually made two videos on how to set up an event. So that is something that you can find on this channel, how to uh, set up an event on TouchPix. So go ahead and do that. And then what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to go ahead and activate the event on my phone and on my iPad and use it as a sharing station. All right. So I'm going to show you that on the next video and I'm breaking down these videos into small pieces because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with a super long video. Okay, so it's active on here. You know, it, it recognized that I subscribed for one week. Let me go ahead and go back to the app here. See subscriptions and it says current package. So it acknowledges that I have the one week. So this one week lasts a whole seven days. Okay, so that part is done. That part is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video at that. If you guys are here for the very first time, welcome to the 360 Photo Booth community what I, where I'm trying to help out the entire uh, world of 360 Photo Booth operators have a successful 360 Photo Booth business by showing you guys what I do, what works for me, what tools uh, I use for marketing, and just everything that entails the 360 Photo Booth business. All right, guys, like uh, if you guys like this video, it helps me out a, a great deal, especially with the algorithm. So if you guys want to support me, just hit me with that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video.